and welcome to programming knowledge so I again welcome you all to yet another tutorial at programming knowledge in today's tutorial we are going to learn about edit distance so edit distance uh, is a 2d dynamic programming approach given two words word 1 and word 2 find the minimum number of operations required to convert word 1 to word 2 so you have following three operations permitted on a word that is insert a character delete a character replace a character let's look, look at an example word 1 is equal to horse word 2 is equal to ross uh, horse can be co converted to ross by three operations that is replace h with r converted to ross uh, remove r this r you get rows and then convert e from the rows to get ross so let's uh, uh, this is a, a 2d dynamic approach so let's uh, implement our program so word 1 is equal to horse and word 2 word 2 is equal to ross uh, we'll call the function answer is equal to edit distance of word 1 comma word 2 print answer uh, print answer okay so uh, since edit distance is not defined it will throw an error okay define edit distance okay i'll define the function edit distance word one comma word two and i'll put a pass statement here yeah perfectly fine so now we will uh, implement our logic so first we will create a 2d dp since we created 2d dynamic programming uh, the time complexity is equal to O big O of N square. Okay, and the space complexity would also be the same since we uh, use a 2D matrix. And let's uh, move with the program ahead. Now, what we can do first, we will calculate the uh, initialize matrix with zero. R comma C is equal to length word one comma length word 2 and let's initialize a 2d matrix uh, we'll do for i in range r plus 1 uh, we can initialize this and for uh, this is for rows and this is for column 0 uh, for i in range sorry for j in range c plus 1 uh, and this is for rows so let's uh, uh, this is like you initializing 0 for j in rows column plus 1 then for i in rows range r plus 1 so let's do print dp so here you can see i have initialized the column uh, one thing uh, uh, you can do here is uh, like uh, I have got how many columns I have got then yeah I have got four columns and five rows one two three four five six okay perfectly fine uh, since the length of this word was five so uh, I generated a matrix of five plus one and three plus one that is uh, six and four uh, what you need to do now you need to traverse uh, the matrix uh, for i in the range r plus 1 for j in the range c plus 1 okay now you have four cases if i is equal to 0 that is that is uh, if first string is m t if first string is empty what you can do that is uh, the only option is if first string is empty then insert all cares of second string okay let's uh, so let's we will move to the logic part lf j is equal to 0 uh, how you can approach this if second string is empty if second string is empty if second string is empty you can only do one thing that is remove 
all cats of second string okay uh, uh, if second string is empty only option is to remove all characters of second string uh, oh, oh sorry I made a mistake here sorry like uh, since the second string is empty the, you can uh, match the first string with second string by removing the uh, remove all the characters of first string so if uh, like if first string is empty then insert all characters of second string uh, into the first string then you can match like I, I, I hope you are getting it if first string is empty you just insert insert all the characters of second string into the first string to ma uh, make a match else what you can do if a second string is empty already empty then remove all the characters of first string then both of them are empty and you will get the answer but pass statement else uh, elif if word of 1 of i minus 1 is equal to word of 2 of j minus 1 then what we can do if both the cats are same uh, are same then just ignore just ignore else uh, we'll make else look for minimum of insert delete and replace else we will implement the else part okay uh, this is else part and this is going to be the elf part so let's uh, how we can approach this so if first string is MC insert all the characters of second string then for this DP of IJ is equal to DP of IJ is equal to uh, this is going to be J and for this one DP of IJ is equal to I I told you remove all characters of first string so removing all characters of first string will take I operation and inserting all characters of second string will take J operations else dp of ij is equal to dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 just ignore that else what you can do you take minimum of insert so minimum of insert delete and replace see insert is uh, insert operation is taken by dp of i comma j minus 1 uh, the delete operation is dp of i minus 1 comma j and replaces dp of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 so this is very similar to uh, uh, replace operation we replace with nothing to ignore it uh, in the end what you can return return dp of r comma c uh, which is equal to dp of minus 1 comma minus 1 so let's print our answer so i've got the answer three so that's perfectly fine uh, you can uh, uh, approach this uh, problem on a pen and paper this would give you a better understanding how you can approach the problem so thank you guys for watching this tutorial i'll catch up in the uh, next tutorial thank you guys